Welcome again to my channel. <laughs> so, my boss. Yeah. So, this is the third part ng loss of exponent natin. And this time, we're going to talk about power and base law. Okay? So, let's do this. So, in power law, x raised to m raised to n is equal to x raised to mn. Kung papasin nyo, we just need to multiply the exponents. Ganun lang. So, example, x raised to 2 raised to 4. So, since ang rule lang natin, kapag exponent, naka-raise another exponent, minumultiply lang natin. So, ito ay magiging x raised to 2 times 4. The answer is 8. So, x raised to 8. Ganun lang. And then, this one naman, for automatic ang mga number may exponent niya na 1. So, multiply lang natin. So, 4 raised to 2. Since this is a number, we need to evaluate. 4 times 4. Itself ha, yun yung function ng exponent. So, 16. This is the answer. This one, um, y automatic may 1 exponent. That's y raised to 3. Okay, yung final answer natin sa power law. Sa power law, madali lang kasi isang, ano lang yan, isang variable or isang number lang. Now, let's have the base law. Si base law is the expanded form of power law. Dito, composed of different variables na, tsaka may mga numerical na din. Halo-halo na. So, dito kasi sa base law, we need to distribute all the exponent outside to all the exponents inside. Pero yung process, same pa rin. Multiply. Okay? So, example natin, the given is x, y, and close by a parenthesis raised to 3. And then, the second example, 2x cubed y raised to 5 raised to 3. So, ganun lang. We need to distribute the exponent outside by multiplying it to each exponent inside. So, gagawin lang natin. Multiply, multiply. So, automatic may 1 yan parehas. Magiging x cubed y cubed. This is the final answer. And dito naman, distribute lang natin yung 3, 3, 3. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 2 raised to 3 x raised to 9 kasi minultiply natin 3 times 3, 9 and y raised to 15 kasi 5 times 3, 15 and we need to evaluate 2 cube di ba ang function exponent multiply by itself how many times? 3 times kasi exponent natin 3 so 2 times 2 times 2 the answer is 8 so final answer natin 8 x raised to 9 y raised to and that's a god that's base law. Another case of base law is like the division law. Dini distribute din natin. Yun nga lang, meron tayong fraction. May numerator, may denominator. Pero ganun lang din ang process. Distribute. Example. X raised over y raised to 3 will become x cubed over y cubed. Same thing. At ha, we need to distribute. Ngayon, hindi natin pwedeng apply yung division law dito na nagsusubtract ng exponent kasi magkaibang variable yan. Okay? Next. Dito, i-distribute natin yung 2 sa lahat ng exponent sa ta numerator at denominator. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 3 squared x raised to 4 kasi 2 times 2, 4 over si 5 magkaka-squared kasi 2 to. And then, y raised to 6. Minultiply natin yung 2 and 3. Next, we need to evaluate yung 3 squared natin and that's 9. 3 times 3, 9. And then, x raised to 4 over... Yung 5 squared natin, it's 5 times 5. The answer is 25. X, uh, y raised to 6. Now, is 9 divisible by 25? No. Um, is there a number that can divide both 9 and 25? Or can we simplify 9 and 25? No. So, that's the final answer. Kapag wala nang simplify. Okay? Next. is now application. Let's solve math like a boss. Let's do this. So, the given is 6x raised to 5, y raised to 7, raised to another exponent 3, all over 4ax squared, and then we have 2x squared y raised to 2. So, ang gawin natin, una natin gagawin is to distribute all the exponents uh, to the exponents inside. So, si 6x, ito magiging 6 cube, ito dinistribute natin, distribute, distribute, x raised to 15, y raised to 21. All over, ito naman, ito, dito, dito. So, magiging 4 squared, a raised to 2, x raised to 2. Bakit? May mga 1 kasi silang exponent. Distribute lang natin. Times, ito, distribute din natin dito sa 2, sa 2, sa 1. So, magiging 2 squared, x raised to 4, 
y squared. And then, we need to um, multiply this si under product law. Pwede kailangan masimplify natin to Multiply natin. 4 squared ay 4 times 4, di ba? So, magiging 16 na siya. Laminator muna, ha? So, ba't ko yung numerator? Yung numerator natin, di ba yung 6 cube ay 216? Kasi 6 times 6, 6, 216. X raised to 15, Y raised to 21. And then dito, ito na nga, yung 16 natin. Di ba? 4 times 4, 16. Dito, yung 2 squared natin, 2 times 2, that's 4. So, multiply natin yung 4 and 16, that's 64. And, yung A natin may kaparehas ba sa kabila? Wala. So, copy lang natin. Si X may kaparehas, yes. Diba? Ang rule natin ina-add. X raised to 6 na siya, 2 plus 4. And, yung Y walang kaparehas, so copy lang natin yung Y squared. Okay? So, we need to simplify this. Si 216 at saka 64, simplify natin. Um, some pwede ma-divide ang 216 at 64. So, try natin sa... So, 216 over 64 divided by 8. Si 216 divided by 8 ay ilang 8 meron sa 21, dalawa. Sobra ng 5, 56, 56. Ilang 8 meron sa 56, 7, 27. Over 64 divided by 8, that's 8. Ayun o, pwede na. 27 and 8, wala nang pwede makadivide sa dalawa. So, meron natin 27 over 8. And then, yung A natin walang kaparehas. So, A squared na lang yan. Tapos yung x natin parehas, apply natin yung division law. We subtract the exponent. So, x raised to 9 na lang. 15 minus 6, that's 9. And then yung y natin, 21 at 2, ay 19. So, y raised to 19. Bakit, sir, nasa taas yung dalawa? Kasi positive yung naging result. This is the final answer. Okay. Thank you. If you're new to my channel, Subscribe and like.